Hi everyone. I try Korkoth, Tyrant of Korak deck, Commander Azali deck, Sanctum of the Cleansing Fire deck for the new season. Finally finished 12th with the Sanctum of the Cleansing Fire deck. In team battles, a weak enough deck cannot cover your teammates. Korkoth, Tyrant of Korak got a buff in the new season, but using it to rank, I feel very powerless. It takes too long to prepare, wastes mana and random cards often fail to perform well on the field. Even if Korkoth, Tyrant of Korjok is summoned, it has a very low DPS and often drives the game in a losing direction. I feel like Korkoth, Tyrant of Korjok is still too weak, it's not worth 10 mana. I summarize the Korkoth, Tyrant of Korjok deck. I'm sorry for the teammates I met today, I play Korkoth, Tyrant of Korjok deck. The Sanctum of the Cleansing Fire deck is too strong in my opinion, but then the nerf will be in a dilemma of being unable to play. Perhaps increasing the trigger time can improve this problem. Sanctum of the Cleansing Fire can increase the continuation of your units, it can make your units heal continuously. If the opponent uses units with low attack power, it will be difficult to clear allied units. The downside of this deck is that if teammates use range and flying units, it will break the first healing of Sanctum of the Cleansing Fire. If teammates use low HP units, it will also disable healing. This deck is also very afraid of Cobber Tosser, Fergus Flag and Fighter. Every time I play Team Battle, I feel it deeply. I met many players in Team Battles, always complaining about their teammates. In fact, sooner or later players will get to where they belong. Strength will get you where you belong. I met some top players today who went from gold to top 50 in no time. Some advice for novice players, starting with a solo game. Team battles are so complicated that it's hard to understand what's going on. When you really get results in the solo game, then you can really understand the characteristics of each card.